If you're looking for help on the ASVAB, you came to the right place. I'm about to go through 10 questions on the arithmetic reasoning portion of this exam. That is part of the AFQT, one of the four core contents required to get into the military. Like I said, we're only going to hit 10 questions a day, but go ahead and click the subscribe button if you want to continue on the next 10 with my next video. So up at the top up here, it tells us that basic cable costs $15 a month. And it says that this total bill is $20 per month, and they want to know what percent of the total bill was this basic cable. So we just have to reduce this fraction and then write it as a decimal. Well, if I divide the top by five, that gives me three, and divide the bottom by five gives me four to reduce this fraction, I know that three over four is also known as 75%. Number 12 on the ASVAB wants to know which extra service was chosen. The total bill for the first bill after the install was $112.50. Well, if I subtract the $65 deposit that was required from that total, that brings us down to 47.5. If I then subtract the $25 for the install service, that's going to bring me down to 22.5. And then if we subtract the $15 for basic cable, that's going to bring me down to $7 and 50 cents. Now, if I'm at $7 and 50 cents, then that means we are dealing with the news channel. So the answer here is A. All right, it says here that 80 out of 100 shoppers did this, and they want to know how many that would be out of 30,000. Now, two ways. You can either recognize that 80 out of 100 is 80%, so you could do 0 0.80 times this and get the answer, or you can recognize that 100 times 300 would give you 30,000, so that means you do 80 times 300 as well. Well, 8 times the 3 is going to give us 24. We have a 0 there, and then two more zeros from the 300, meaning our final answer is D. For number 14, it says that there are 400 discs total. How many of them would have been country music? Well, country is about 25% of this, which is a fourth, and a fourth of 400 is 100. So the only answer close is D. So number 15 is asking which of the two from this would add up to exactly half of all of them. In other words, 50%. Well, 45.5 and 4.5 are the two that add together gives us exactly 50%. So that's rock and classical, which is option B. You made it. You're halfway there. We're at five questions out of the 10. So go ahead and take a break, hit the pause button, shake it up a little bit, and then come back and dive back into these last five. Also, if you could help me out, go ahead and hit the like button or leave a comment below. The interactions really help boost this video and help me move forward. So thanks again, and I hope you enjoyed the last five questions. All right, so 220 people bought cars, 60% of them were happy. They want to know how many were unhappy. Well, if 60% were happy, then 100 minus that 60 is going to give me 40%. So what is 40% of 220? You would just do 0.4 times that 220. Well, 4 times 22 is 88, which is answer C. Holy cow, it's a long division question. So here's the deal. We got 1,125 university students, 135 of them speak fluent Spanish, and they want to know what percentage that is. There's some estimating things here, but that actually would be really hard considering we got a lot of these really close together. So let's just do the long division now. 1,125 dividing 135. I'm going to put a zero on here to make this work. We're going to put a one right here. That brings down the 1,125 here, and you're going to subtract that out. When you do that, like gives us 25 here. 50 minus 25, and 3 minus 1 is going to give me 2. Add a 0 here, and look, that's exactly double that. So bring up a 2 here, 0.12 is our final answer, C. All right, for number 18, they need to know 200 linear feet of fencing is needed to close in this garden. So which one of these could possibly be the length and width of the garden? So here's the deal. The fencing would be the perimeter, not the area. So we're not multiplying here. What we need is to take each one of these and you'll multiply each one by two and add them together. Well, 100 times two is already 200, so that's out. And same here, because those would both be over 200. In this case, 80 times two is going to give us one. 60 and 20 times 2 is 40. 160 plus 40 does indeed give us 200. For number 19, there's a ribbon that's 3 feet and 4 inches long, and they're dividing it into 5 equal parts. How long is it? So in other words, we've got to divide this guy right here by 5. I'm going to convert it to all inches here. Well, there's 12 inches in a foot, so 3 times 12 is going to give me 36. Plus those additional 4 inches gives me a total of 40 inches. When we divide that by 5, we get a total of 8 inches in each one, which is answer C. 
To make this one be a little bit easier to explain, I did some notations. We have two kids here that have $6 to pay for their lunch, and they want to know which of these options are not the case. Now, we do have three options to pick from, option one, two, or three, as I've labeled them here. And you can see some of them have multiple options, like one sandwich or two cookies, and see how I put the slash for the or. And means you get both, and this is another or down here, so either two sandwiches or a sandwich and two cookies. So let's go through these. Um, right off the bat, I think A is going to be our answer, so we're going to come back to that. Two sandwiches and two cookies. Can I do that with six? dollars well let's see this one is a sandwich and two cookies and this one has a sandwich as an option and four and two gives us six so that works one sandwich and four cookies well let's see this has a sandwich and two cookies and you can get two cookies here so that works as well three sandwiches and no cookies well in this case i can get a sandwich here and two sandwiches here so that works which means a is the only one that doesn't well guys that's number 11 through 20 remember stick around for my next video where we're going to hit numbers 21 through 30 to finish this out i hope this has been helpful for the asbab for you i hope you do well in your test remember my name is daniel caproni and this has been your tutoring for the asbab